Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, how to be more open <laughs> with a man by leaning in. Okay, we're going to talk about this leaning in versus the leaning back. Uh, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. Okay, we're going to talk about how to be more open with men, with a man, by leaning in. Uh, really quickly, before we get started, it happens to be some news I want to share with you, and it's today is my birthday. So, for our uh, video today, I got myself a little cupcake, <laughs> and I've got a little candle. I'm going to make a wish. I'm going to share some things with you that are personal, and then I'm going to get into how to be more open with a man. So my wish. Ah, <laughs> happy birthday to me. Uh, in fact, if you want to give me a birthday wish, please post a comment below. I'd be honored if you shared a wish with me. Um, and I'm going to share, I'm going to tell you what my wish is at the end. And I know that's breaking protocol, but I think it's worth it. Um, so... My birthday, actually this past week, I did something for myself, my birthday, um, and I did a spiritual journey. I took some plant-based medicine to open myself up to a deeper level of consciousness. And if you're not familiar with plant-based medicine, just Google plant-based medicine. Um, I'm not going to share what it is publicly, but I'm just going to say that I had an amazing experience with the help of a shaman, uh, husband and wife, to go deeper. And one of the things I, and it was about being open. How can I be more open? How can I be more open? And one of the questions I asked the medicine was I'd like to have a message from Connor. And for those who, are, who know me know that my 19-year-old son, Connor, passed away two years ago. So... Um, and I, and, um, you know, birthdays are kind of one of those times where I spent with him. So I'm reflecting also a little bit about him as well, but I asked him. So one of the things I did was I asked his spirit for a message and the, and the medicine responded. And this was an amazing spiritual experience, uh, uh, going inward journey. And he gave me this great message. He said, and I said, Connor, what message do you have for me? And he goes, Dad, stop asking me this question. I gave you the message already. In fact, you wrote a book about the message. What the heck is self-love anyway? What the heck is self-love anyway? It's my book. It's the t-shirt I'm wearing. It's the picture there and it's the picture there. He said, look, I gave you the message when I passed and that was to love on yourself and to love others to love on yourself and to love others. And I sat with that. And I recognized that his passing led me on a journey. I began writing the book uh, two months after he passed, and I published it nine months after he passed. And I began doing speaking gigs around the book. I started to talk on podcasts and such. And as I reflected more on this experience, and what's great about my book, it's a, it's a personal development, it's a book about a invitation for a journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work as a daily practice. And at the end of the book, I share some of the great resources that I can think or that I believe help, have helped me. And my invitation is to help you. So again, it's what the heck is self-love anyway. There's a link to the book below to check it out. But how does this relate to being more open to men? Well, the fact is, ladies, if you want to be more open to a guy, then you have to be more open to yourself. And this is why I want to invite you to lean into yourself. Lean into yourself. Be careful of this leaning back conversation because the terminology of leaning back. Now, I understand if you're in a relationship and you've crossed the 50-yard line. Okay, so a relationship should be met at the 50-yard line. If you've crossed the 50-yard line as he's hanging out the 20, then yes, come back to center. But I'm here to say lean into being present. Lean into your sovereignty. Lean into your self-worth. Lean into your self-confidence. And if you wanted to know how to lean in, then I invite you to read some of the amazing books that I recommend. One of which, and this is my Bible, it's called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. 
The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. I want you to lean into this book. It's going to help you talk to the voices in your head because the voices in your head is oftentimes what sabotages your relationship with men. Whoa. The voices in my head could be sabotaging my relationships with men. Yes. This is why you have to check out this book, along with if you're not familiar with the four agreements, you have to check this out and become a master at the four agreements. Because if you want to be in relationship with another human being, you have to ha begin a re amazing relationship with yourself. And so this message Connor gave me about self-love was really about really opening myself up. And that's my invitation for you is to become more open and receptive to love by loving on yourself. Because if you lean into yourself, you're going to be, become a magnetic attractor for attracting a great guy into your life. This is why if you're not familiar, this isn't the book, this is the CD I got as a gift, Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. Please, Get this book because it's about remembering your divine goddess and God within you, that divine person within you, and return back to love and approach the dating process from a more compassionate place for yourself and for others. And so when Connor gave me the message, it was really simple. He said, loving on yourself is the antidote to being open and receptive to love. Hence why I'm part of the self-love club. And I want you to be part of the self-love club. That club is first get my book. Okay, I've been pitching my book a lot, but it's my birthday. Cut me some slack. So I think you get the gist of this. I want to suggest, though, that it's not about loving yourself 100%. It's about continually working on oneself and then choose a partner that's doing the same. Look, I've said in previous videos, there's only 5% of the male population or female population that has really transcended their healing. That's the, the Mother Teresa's and Gandhi's of the world. And certainly there's the Jeffrey Jommers and the uh, Lizzie Borden's of the world. We're not looking for that 5 to 10%. Most everybody's in the middle. But what I'm saying is choose a partner that's leaning towards improving on themselves, that's doing introspective work, that's, that's, that's emotionally mature. And if you're not familiar with my video on emotional maturity, check out the video somewhere below here. It's the five signs of emotional maturity, one of which is those men that take personal responsibility for those choice, their choices. In fact, in my coaching program, oh, I'll, I'll shoot a video on this, the five questions to ask a man before you give your heart. That's gonna be coming up soon. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Hit the subscribe button so you make sure you get it. Um, but that's my invitation for you is to become more open within yourself so you don't sabotage yourself with men. Because when you're loving on yourself, you are a magnetic attractor to really great things in your life. And I say this as a testament to my own life because despite all the tragedy and and uh, upheaval I've had in the last few years, I've also drawn in some amazing blessings. And that is the awareness of love is the antidote. Self-love is the antidote to all inner suffering. And I've recommended these books so you can feel good about yourself, you can feel lovable, you can feel likable, and you'll be more open to men because you've leaned in. Got it? Okay. I said I was going to share what my birthday wish with you. I've got two, which I think is really important to hear. My wish is for you to love on yourself so much that you become that magnetic attractor. That's my first wish. And my second wish is to call in my soulmate. Yes, I'm calling in my soulmate. In fact, I realized that my YouTube channel is a great venue to reach out to women to see who I am. And maybe you can start your own YouTube channel so men can see you. Wouldn't that be great if more people get to see who we are then we're not strangers to anyone. And that's really the challenge with dating is when we meet strangers, it's hard to break that barrier. In fact, I'm gonna shoot another video about how to see those amazing high quality guys when you understand this one secret, um, how to bring back those strong masculine men. But yes, that's my wish for myself. 
is to call in my soulmate. I mean, I'm ready for you. You are welcome to knock on my door, drop the hanky. I will put in the effort. If you meet me on the 50 yard line, I'm gonna meet you on the 50 yard line. So that's my wish for myself today. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to Jonathan. And feel free to leave me a birthday message as well. All right, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm going to give you a gigantic, oh, by the way, I'm giving myself a gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm giving you a hug of love. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thank you so much. Wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Thanks. Bye-bye now.